Hi, it's Best Let's Game 27 here, and I know I look pretty ugly today. Um, I just didn't spike my hair this morning, which I probably should have, because then I look a lot better, as you can see. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, this is a this video is a review on the scary games that I have. Uh, a few people asked me about it, so I'm gonna make a video of it, and it's supposed to be some games that are, that are that are scary. And maybe something in the game, you know, that's not really... Like, the game doesn't have to really be scary. But there might be something in the game that is scary. And then I also have some scary games. So, anyway, <laughs> let's get on to it. Uh, so, number one is Dead Rising 2 Off the Record. Now, this game isn't really scary um, to me at all. I don't know why people would think this would be in a horror genre. But I do kind of agree with one thing. It is a little weird. Uh, the, some of the bosses that you fight... They are kind of a little creepy because if you they they are hard to defeat at least for me, um, so I guess it's sort of a I guess I understand why people call it uh you know creepy. Uh, next is the origins of something, Dead Rising One. Now this game uh when I first got it so this has been like maybe two thousand ten or nine maybe even eleven. Uh, maybe, but if it's earlier than that, it was early 2012, which I uh, highly doubt that. Um, when this game, you know, I kind of didn't really think it was spooky. Um, in a way, I kind of did, just a little bit, like, but not enough to make me, like, get scared. Um, it was just, uh, you know, not that much uh, fear to me. It's basically, to me, it's more like... Um, a more of a Devil May Cry with zombies, I like because the re reason why is because the camera angle it just reminded me of Devil May Cry. Um, I don't really want to tell you a certain part that will spoil the video, but you know if you already played the game, um, then I'll just say um, there was one part where I guess where you go, when you're in the mall and there's those guys there and they're um, they have these chainsaws and I mean not chainsaws. Uh, well, you're supposed to have a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really messed up. I'm out there. Um, and the, and these guys are kind of like, I think they're doing some sort of sacrifice because of the zombie plague. By looking at it, it was pretty creepy. And also the mall was dark. I guess that's also pretty creepy too. Because when a mall, when it's nighttime and the mall is like completely dark, it is a little, it's, it's a little weird. Next game is Silent Hill 4, The Room for the original Xbox. Now... People say, like, uh, it's not really that scary. Um, now, see, I've been a Silent Hill fan since 2009, by most part. And uh, I know this game isn't really uh, scary, that to some people. Um, but I think there are a lot of elements that are that are in the game that are pretty kind of creepy. Um, especially in the beginning part where you're at the uh, train station and there's these monsters. And every time you try to kill them or attack them... They'll never die. The only, it's like the only things that can die are the dogs. So, yeah, it's pretty creepy to me. I even cried to that part. Uh, another one is like a DLC game, which basically is a, a DLC for the original game, but also came, the game, uh, DLC also came on a disc, which is Undead, uh, my bad, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Now, this game isn't really spooky, like I said. It's like, like, uh, Dead Rising. It's not really spooky at all. It's just more of, you know, I guess in a situation, if you are, like, over, like, if there's a lot of zombies around you and you really have nothing to do, like, or to kill them, I guess in that situation, it would be pretty spooky. Um, so, yeah, my rating on it, uh, 6 out of 10. I, you know, I didn't give the other, t uh, ratings that game, but, you know, this is, it's got some parts, but I think I'm, I jump. Uh, another one is Left 4 Dead 2. This game is not scary at much point but um you know what i mean it's a kind of a game where you're like ah oh, awesome but and then uh you know it's and it just looks a lot cooler i mean well it seems to more cool to play but uh this game i guess if you turn around at the wrong point um like you know if you turn around you got you kind of get a little jump scare and uh you know when it's like kind of like at night and uh you know you're Having like over 15 tank, it's it's kind of creepy and it's pretty scary. So that's good. Uh, this is 
Silent Hill HD Collection. Now, this game is by Top Bar Scary, um, especially 3. I have not completed this game yet, but eventually I will. I'm still even playing it. Um, this game really is scary, and, uh, you know, I thought since it was like 1, 2, and 3, you know, because usually older games you can play aren't really that spooky, but, you know, this is actually pretty decent, and, uh, to be honest, it just comes in one disc. I, I thought it was going to come in two discs. No, I just came in one. So, yeah, I guess I'm lucky. Um, on this side, this game by far is pretty spooky. No, wait, what the fuck? No. That game sucks. Uh, I'm joking. No, nah, for real, it's not sp this uh, Resident Evil Five. It's not really a scary game at all. It really, it, it, the game sucks. To be honest with you, I don't like it. I hate the graphics. The fact that you're, you know, that you're you're in Africa now. I mean, I don't now. People who live in Africa or from Africa, I do not hate you guys at all, like, I'm not racist, I'm just saying, I hate the fact, because this game is kind of racist, they're saying, like, all people from Africa, are, like, being able to do voodoo witchcraft, Rich, witchcraft, now, I've never been to Africa personally, but I don't think that's how it goes down there, I, by far, so this game, it's not really scary, but, I do remember a few, uh, bosses that were kind of creepy, and, uh, so, I guess, you know, I mean, as in, they weren't, I just didn't really want to, kill him i just wanted to run away but i couldn't so i had to kill him anyway game sucks <laughs> uh, another is dead rising 2 now dead rising 2 is like i said not really a scary game like from the other dead rising genre it's just basically a um yeah you know it's it's just like it's just like a basic you know like capcom game but you know i guess in some parts the insane guys, you know, and especially when uh, if you get a little far into the game, there's this point where the some of the uh, zombies come more mutated and they sound a little different and they do more different things. And I guess it's a little spooky. Um, so yeah, I yes yeah, that's what I think. And another game is the Suffering. Now this game, to me, it's pretty creepy. Um, I've played it uh, in the dark. Every scary game I always get, I'm always like, let's play in the dark because I want to feel the, you know, I want to feel that uh, scared, scariness. But, you know, this game, it did give me a lot of, it did give me a few, uh, you know, scares. It really did. You know, when it's but mostly jump scares and usually the bosses. You know, when you're a first-person shooter and you see, like, these horror, you know, monsters coming after you, it's pretty creepy. I've never really played a, um horror game like that so i i have to say this is pretty it's pretty good and uh it can be played on the xbox 360 like the uh other <laughs> one i did so yeah every game i have I, ha I don't have a regular xbox so i have an xbox 360 another game i have that's pretty creepy in some situations resident evil operation raccoon city now this game isn't really spooky but like i said it's just the bosses the bosses can be really creepy i at some points, they are hard to kill, and I basically raged. I mean, with like every Resident Evil game, I've always raged, except for Resident Evil Six. That game, I that part I never raged, but I always get angry because like it's usually at the end is when it's the hardest part of the whole game, and you have to like try to kill this dude. So anyway, uh, another game. Now this game is scary. Even the bosses, even the graphics, even the monsters and everything. That is Doom 3. And this is the BFG edition, so. Let's get closer. This is a very creepy game. For one, it the monsters are creepy. Um, you're in a space environment, which isn't really that bad, but it is kind of creepy as well. Three, um, you know, you're basically you know, in space, and, it, it, I mean, of course, you can go out and get dead space, but I don't have dead space, sorry, I'm, I'm a, well, the comment will tell you, um, anyway, so, yeah, this is a good, good, scary game, it will probably get your heart racing half the time, and I do 100% recommend this, so, yeah, try to get it, and only got two left. And it's Condemned Criminal Origins. Now, this game is pretty spooky. I had people tell me, like, oh, it's not scary. I could play this whenever I want. Well, 
people say it's not scary, which it can, it, sometimes it's not really scary at all, but it, it, it can be a lot, you know, because, um, you're usually in the dark, and you just have a flashlight, and, and every weapon you can get has got so much, uh, help, uh, strength to it, so whenever you run out of that weapon, it's gone, and, uh, unlike, you know, the second one, you can't find ammo and it like crates. So if you have a gun, whatever, whenever you just shoot out of that gun, that's all it will be. So yeah, there is no ammo pouches for nothing. So, but yeah, it is creepy. And when you have no weapon and you're all alone and you're going to get messed up, I highly recommend this. Even in situations when you're getting mugged. Um, my last game, now this game is 100% creepy, 100% horror, and 100% something I think is going to be good for you guys. Condemned to Bloodshot. Now, unlike the Resident, I mean not Resident Evil, uh, Silent Hill HD Collections, this game is sort of more horrific than that. Um, you know, for example, the enemies, they look like demons, like literal, legit demons, and, and, uh... It, I never. I, I. I know. I know. When I was a kid, I saw this movie. I, I can't remember what it was called, but these people went to a hotel, and there was that like demonic uh, people, something like that. These demonic monsters were there, and they had to try to kill them just to get out. Well, that I can't remember what that movie was called. I have to probably look it up or something. But if you know what the movie was called, let it down in the comment section below. Um, if you think I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Condemned to Bloodshot, it's like, just like that. It's basically, you know, you're out in a world where it's almost like the horrific ghetto. Um, a place you really don't want to be. So, yeah, and uh, I 100% recommend this game. I 100% that you get it. And I also 100% uh, hope that you will enjoy it. So, anyway... Um, soon enough, I should be getting some more horror games, so I guess I'll have some more horror game reviews for you guys. Um, I have five questions that when asked to me, so I'm going to answer those five questions. So here, one question was, will I be getting Saw, like the whole Saw situation? Here's the thing, I enjoyed the movie, I played the game, but the game really isn't that bad. (laughs) Like the, I see them. I say the movie has like more horror graphics than the genre does for the game. You know, it, it's just it's not really that scary to me. You know, but I mean, I will probably rent it um, to set it out because like a lot of horror games I get, I t- I do rent first, unless it's like for original Xbox or or if I've already played it at somebody else's house before. So yeah, or if I've seen gameplay footage of it, that too. Um. Another, will I be getting Alone in the Dark? I'm going to try. That looks pretty good. And I I know it's a zombie game, so I know I will try that. Um, you know, I always say even things are not really that scary, but more fun to kill. Can be kind of spooky in situations. Um, also, the Xbox Live, Stay of the K. Heck yes, I'm getting that. By the way, that's question three. I am going to get that. That game, it looks like Daisy with Grand Theft Auto. I will 100% get that. Uh, my fourth question was, will I be, will I play um, Silent Hill 1 or, uh, what was it? I think, will I play Silent Hill 1 or, or uh, Homecoming for uh, YouTube or just for myself in general? That's, uh, that's something I can't really say. That's going to take it, you know, into the future. Uh... So, I can't really answer that at the moment, but I can probably figure out some other time. Uh, another question I was asked if, uh, my fifth la- fifth and last question, if I will, um, if I will ever try to, you know, uh, do videos where I bring other people into them. Um, well, I would. I mean, yeah, if you guys wanted to play a game with me or something like that, and if you have a Steam account, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I can hang, you know, record if that's what you guys would like to do. Uh, but the thing is, I would have to get uh, a new computer, a new uh, system, a new uh, headset, and I have to get a lot of new things. So that, 
like I said, that's all very time consuming. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Just like with homecoming, I has to go. That has to go to the future. I I can't really say I can think about it at this moment. But I I can say you know yeah you know if I ever had if I had those things now and you guys wanted to you know be in one of my videos or something like that heck yeah sure we can do it uh, as long as we we're playing like a horror game so anyway guys um, like a favor you guys enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more gaming reviews or have a game that I should probably go get. Uh, just put them in my comment section down below, and if uh, you have any questions about maybe a certain game, uh, you can tell me on Facebook and Twitter. I have a page on Facebook, and I have a Twitter account, so you can always ask me questions. And Anyway, so as always, stay safe and uh, keep playing some horror games, please. Hi, it's Best of Games with 7 here, and I know I look pretty ugly today. Um, I just didn't spike my hair this morning, which I probably should have, because then I look lot better as you can see um so anyway uh uh this is a this video is a review on the scary games that i have uh, a few people asked me about it so i'm gonna make a video of it and it's supposed to be some games that are that are, that are scary and maybe something in the game you know that's not really like the game don't have to really be scary but there might be something in the game that is scary and then i also have some scary games so anyway <laughs> Let's get on to it. Uh, so number one is Dead Rising 2 off the record Now this game isn't really scary um, to me at all. I don't know why people think this would be in a horror genre But I do kind of agree with one thing. It is a little weird uh, the, Some of the bosses that you fight they are kind of a little creepy because if you they, they are hard to defeat at least for me um, so I guess it's sort of a I guess I understand why people call it, uh, you know, creepy. Uh, next is the origins of something, Dead Rising 1. Now, this game, uh, when I first got it, so this has been like maybe 2010 or 9, maybe even 11, uh, maybe, but if it's earlier than that, it was early 2012, which I uh, highly doubt that. Um, when this game, you know, I kind of didn't really think it was spooky. Um, in a way, I kind of did, just a little bit, like, but not enough to make me, like, get scared. Um, it was just, uh, you know, not that much, uh, fear to me. It's basically, to me, it's more like, um, a more of a Devil May Cry with zombies. I, like, because the re reason why is because the camera angle, it just reminded me of Devil May Cry. Um. I don't really want to tell you a certain part that will spoil the video, but, you know, if you already played the game, um, then I'll just say, um, there was one part where I guess when, you go, when you're in the mall and there's those guys there and they're, um, they have these chainsaws and, I mean, not chainsaws, uh, well, you're supposed to have a chainsaw. I'm sorry. I'm really messed up. I'm out there. Um, and, the, and these guys are kind of like, I think they're doing some sort of sacrifice because of the zombie plague. By looking at it, it was pretty creepy, and also the mall was dark. I guess that's also pretty creepy too, because when a mall, when it's nighttime and the mall is like completely dark, it is a little, it's it's a little weird. Next game is Silent Hill Four: The Room for the original Xbox. Now, people say like uh, it's not really that scary. Um, now, see, I've been a Silent Hill fan since two thousand nine, by most part. And, uh, I know this game isn't really, uh, scary, that, to some people, um, but I think there are a lot of elements that are, that are in the game that are pretty kind of creepy, um, especially in the beginning part where you're at the, uh, train station and there's these monsters and every time you try to kill them or attack them, they'll never die. The only, it's like the only things that can die are the dogs. So, yeah, it's pretty creepy to me. I even cried to that part. Uh, another one is like a DLC game, which basically is a, a DLC for the original game, but also came, the game, uh, DLC also came on a disc, which is Undead, uh, my bad, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Now, this game isn't really spooky, like I said, it's like, like, uh, Dead Rising, it's not really spooky at all, it's just more of, you know, I guess in a situation, if you are, like, over, like, if there's a lot of zombies around you, and you really have nothing to do, like, or to kill them, 
I guess in that situation, it would be pretty spooky. Um, so, yeah. My rating on it, uh, 6 out of 10. I, you know, I didn't give the other t uh, ratings that game, but, you know, this is, it's got some parts, but I think I'm, I jumped. Uh, another one is Left 4 Dead 2. This game is not scary at much point, but, um, you know what I mean? It's a kind of a game where you're like, ah, oh, awesome. But, and then, uh, you know, it's, and it just looks a lot cooler. I mean, well, it seems to more cool to play. But uh, this game, I guess if you turn around at the wrong point, um, like, you know, if you turn around, you got you kind of get a little jump scare. And, uh, you know, when it's, like, kind of, like, at night and, uh, you know, you're having, like, over 15 tank, it's, it's kind of creepy and it's pretty scary. So, that's good. Uh, this is... Silent Hill HD Collection. Now, this game is by top far scary, um, especially 3. I have not completed this game yet, but eventually I will. I'm still even playing it. Um, this game really is scary, and, uh, you know, I thought since it was like 1, 2, and 3, you know, because usually older games you can play aren't really that spooky, but, you know, this is actually pretty decent, and, uh, be honest it just comes in one disc i i thought it was gonna come in two discs now i just came in one so yeah i guess i'm lucky um on this side this game by far is pretty spooky no wait what the fuck no that game sucks uh i'm joking no nah, for real it's not sp this uh resident Evil 5 it's not really a scary game at all it really it, it, the game sucks to be honest with you i don't like it i hate the graphics, the fact that you're, you know, that you're, you're in Africa. Now, I mean, I don't, now people who live in Africa or from Africa, I do not hate you guys at all. Like, I'm not racist. I'm just saying I hate the fact because this game is kind of racist. They're saying, like, all people from Africa, like, being able to do voodoo witchcraft. Witch, witchcraft. Now, I've never been to Africa personally, but I don't think that's how it goes down there by far. So this game is not really scary. But I do remember a few uh, bosses that were kind of creepy at... So, I guess, you know, I mean, as in, they weren't, I just didn't really want to kill them. I just wanted to run away, but I couldn't, so I had to kill them. Anyway, game sucks. <laughs> uh, another is Dead Rising 2. Now, Dead Rising 2 is, like I said, not really a scary game, like, from the other Dead Rising genre. It's just basically a, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's just like, it's just like a basic, you know, like, Capcom game, but you know, I guess in some parts the insane guys, you know, and especially when uh, if you get a little far into the game, there's this point where the some of the uh, zombies come more mutated and they sound a little different and they do more different things, and I guess it's a little spooky. Um, so yeah, I just yeah, it's what I think. And another game is the Suffering. Now this game, to me. It's pretty creepy. Um, I've played it uh, in the dark. Every scary game I always get, I'm always like, let's play in the dark because I want to feel the, you know, I want to feel that uh, scared, scariness. But y you know, this game it did give me a lot of, it did give me a few, uh, you know, scares. It really did. You know, when it's but mostly jump scares and usually the bosses. You know, when you're a first person shooter and you see like these horror you know, monsters coming after you. It's pretty creepy. I've never really played a, um, horror game like that, so I, I have to say, this is pretty, it's pretty good. And, uh, it can be played on the Xbox 360, like the, uh, other <laughs> one I did, so, yeah. Every game I have, I, ha I don't have a regular Xbox, so I have an Xbox 360. Another game I have that's pretty creepy in some situations, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, this game isn't really... Spooky, but like I said, it's just the bosses. The bosses can be really creepy. I, at uh, some points, they are hard to kill, and I basically raged. I mean, with like every Resident Evil game, I've always raged, except for Resident Evil Six. That game, I that part I never raged, but I always get angry because like, it's usually at the end is when it's the hardest part of the whole game, and you have to like try to kill this dude. So anyway. Uh, another game. Now this game is scary. Even the bosses, even the graphics, even the monsters and everything. That is Doom Three, and this is the BFG edition. So, 
Right, get closer. This is a very creepy game. For one, it the monsters are creepy. Um, you're in a space environment, which isn't really that bad, but it is kind of creepy as well. Three, um, you know, you're basically, you know, in space. And, it, I mean, of course you can go out and get dead space, but I don't have dead space. Sorry. I'm, I'm a, well, the comment will tell you. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is a good, good scary game. It will probably get your heart racing half the time, and I do 100% recommend this. So, yeah, try to get it. And only got two left, and this is Condemned Criminal Origins. Now, this game is pretty spooky. I had people tell me, like, oh, it's not scary. I can play this whenever I want. Well, people say it's not scary, which it can. It Sometimes it's not really scary at all, but it it, it can be a lot, you know, because, um... You're usually in the dark, and you just have a flashlight, and, and every weapon you can get has got so much uh, health, uh, strength to it. So whenever you run out of that weapon, it's gone. And uh, unlike, you know, the second one, you can't find ammo in that, like, crate. So if you have a gun, whenever, whenever you just shoot out of that gun, that's all it will be. So, yeah, there is no ammo pouches for nothing. So, but yeah, it is creepy, and when you have no weapon, and you're all alone, and you're going to get messed up, I highly recommend this, even in situations when you're getting mugged. Um, my last game, now this game is 100% creepy, 100% horror, and 100% something I think is going to be good for you guys, Condemned to Bloodshot. Now, unlike the Resident, I mean not Resident Evil, uh, Silent Hill HD Collections, this game is sort of more horrific than that. Um, you know, for example, the enemies, they look like demons, like literal, legit demons, and, and, uh, it, I never, I, I, I know, I know when I was a kid, I saw this movie, I, I can't remember what it was called, but these people went to a hotel, and there was that, like, demonic, uh, people, Something like that. These demonic monsters were there, and they had to try to kill them just to get out. Well, that... I can't remember what that movie was called. I have to probably look it up or something. But if you know what the movie was called, let it down in the comment section below. Um, if you think I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Condemned to Bloodshot, it's like just like that. It's basically, you know, you're out in a world where it's almost like the horrific ghetto. Um, a place you really don't want to be. So... Yeah, and uh, I 100% recommend this game. I 100% that you get it. And I also 100% uh, hope that you will enjoy it. So, anyway. Um, soon enough, I should be getting some more horror games. So, I guess I'll have some more horror game reviews for you guys. Um, I have five questions that when asked to me. So, I'm going to answer those five questions. So, here. One question was, will I be getting Saw? Like, the whole Saw situation? Here's the thing. I enjoyed the movie. I played the game. But the game really isn't that bad. <laughs> like, the, I see them. I say the movie has, like, more horror graphics than the genre does for the game. You know, it, it's just. It's not really that scary to me. You know, but I mean, I will probably rent it um, to set it out. Because, like, a lot of horror games I get, I, t I do rent first. Unless it's like for original Xbox or or if I've already played it at somebody else's house before. So, yeah. Or if I've seen gameplay footage of it, that too. Um, another, will I be getting Alone in the Dark? I'm going to try. That looks pretty good. And I, I know it's a zombie game, so I know I will try that. Um, you know, I always say even things are not really that scary, but more fun to kill. Can be kind of spooky in situations. Um... Also, the Xbox Live State of the K. Heck yes, I'm getting that. By the way, that's question three. I am going to get that. That game, it looks like DayZ with Grand Theft Auto. I will 100% get that. Uh, my fourth question was, will I be will I play um, Silent Hill 1 or... Uh, what was it? I think... Well, I play Silent Hill 1 or, or uh, Homecoming for uh, YouTube or just for myself in general. 
that's a, that's something I can't really say. That's going to take it, you know, into the future. Uh, so I can't really answer that at the moment, but I can probably figure out some other time. Uh, another question I was asked if uh, my fifth, la fifth and last question, if I will, um, if I will ever try to, you know, uh, do videos where I bring other people into them. Um, well, I would. I mean, yeah. If you guys wanted to play a game with me or something like that, and if you have a Steam account, uh, yeah, sure. I guess I can hang, you know, record if that's what you guys would like to do. Uh, but the thing is, I would have to get uh, a new computer, a new uh, system, a new uh, headset, and I have to get a lot of new things. So that, like I said, that's all very time consuming. Uh, I can't, I don't know, just like with Homecoming, I has to go, that has to go to the future. I, I can't really say I can think about it at this moment. But I, I can say, you know, yeah, you know, if I ever had, if I had those things now and you guys wanted to, you know, be in one of my videos or something like that, hey, yeah, sure, we can do it. Uh, as long as we're playing like a horror game, so. Anyway, guys, um, like if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see some more gaming reviews or have a game that I should probably go get, uh, just put them in my comment section down below. And if uh, you have any questions about maybe a certain game, uh, you can tell me on Facebook and Twitter. I have a page on Facebook and I have a Twitter account. So you can always ask me questions. And Anyway, so as always, stay safe and uh, keep playing some horror games, please.